Good morning, socialist. I apologize for being late. This place is huge. And so while I was at the Black Women's Expo cutting the ribbon, I was like, okay, I'll get a Starbucks and then I'll walk over. Well, we walked the wrong way, so my apologies. Come, It is so good to be in a room with folks who understand people power. When I was asked to do this, I'm like, why did y'all pick me? Y'all, there are plenty of other socialists, all this you could have picked, but I'm grateful. I am grateful because one thing people always question me about is like, you're a black socialist? And I go, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I believe in people power. I believe in the power of us organizing and getting together. And so, of course, our biggest socialist and brother who I supported in the presidential race, Bernie Sanders. I've always told people I was a sister for Sanders and I didn't apologize for it because I knew what this country needed and it still doesn't have what he needed. So if any of y'all friends with him, text him and tell him he should run again. <laughs> It is so awesome. And so first I want to say thank you to all of you. We would not have this progressive city and a progressive mayor and a progressive elected officials if it wasn't for you all. And so wholeheartedly, I thank you all. If you knocked the door, you made a phone call, you donated a dollar, I want to say thank you wholeheartedly because it is hard to have people who believe in people to be in these spaces. You know, usually, they throw hundreds and thousands of dollars behind the colonizers. And so those dollars worked, and I thank you for it. Um, I gotta shout out my girl who is not here, Robin. Um, Robin, are you here? Hey, my Robin. That is the woman that convinced me to become a socialist. And so y'all should be hugging Robin and thanking her. I will never forget 2018, it was a winner. Um, they brought her on to work on my campaign and she was like, I want you to go get an endorsement from DSA. And I was like, DSA, I'm like, those are socialists. I don't, I don't really know if I fit in, Robin. And she was like, you definitely do. You need to go. And so I went and it was funny, I was there with a mayoral candidate and I had my interview first. <laughs> And people was like, you should run for me. I was like, nobody wants that job. No thanks. And so I'm ever for grateful to you, Robin. You know that I love you. Um, and I appreciate this space. Too often we're told what to think, how to think, what we should invest in. Water is supposed to be free. Lights are supposed to be free. Gas is supposed to be free. Please tell me why we paying. Now, I'm just going to say, in this last election, we kicked capitalism's ass. But we got some more work to do, y'all. We got to get somebody in D.C. who is willing to work with us. We got to get somebody in, in D.C. who says this is wrong. We got to get somebody in D.C. Who, who walks our walk and talks to our talk. And talk right now, that's not what we got. And I'm going to be honest, I'm tired of picking the two of the lesser evils. I really am. There is so much work to be done in our city, but I am excited that I have a partner in DSA. Literally in my first run, I couldn't get that many members to come on the south side to door knock. And I felt some type of way about it. I was like, so y'all ain't just gonna come on the south side, huh? But what I didn't realize was y'all didn't know the south side. It wasn't that many south side DSA members. And so I'm grateful that you all have built these new caucuses around what is this? What is the black socialist? You all have an education committee. You all have a housing committee. You all have special, you all have a disability committee. And I'm appreciative of you all thinking out and doing that work. And so you all being here today is important. You all have helped change the landscape of this city. And I want you all to know that. If nobody ever tells you that, thank you.
So y'all know, here come the time where I gotta cuss somebody out. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> See, that's one of the reasons why I love y'all, cause y'all support some of my bad behavior. <laughs> so that makes me love on y'all a whole lot more. <sighs> there is this saying that people say, we shall overcome. We haven't. We have not, but we coming. We are coming. And I want y'all to remember that and take y'all with me. I'm gonna use these last couple of minutes I have because I'm having my own hot girl summer. Anybody in here over 40? Raise your hand, over 40. Gen X, raise your hand. If you sweating right now, you hot for no reason, and you angry for no reason, and you gang banging on bacon because you mad in the morning because you woke up, raise your hand and be okay with it. Because all the women tell is that too. I'm up here sweating like a hook in church. It is so hot. <laughs> but I want us to get to the place where DSA and being a socialist is a national thing. I should not have to go to a space and be called out as being, being a black socialist because we all believe in people power. And literally, that's what Robin said to me when I was like, uh, Robin, what's a socialist? I don't know if I'm one, Robin. She said, you definitely are. And she explained to me, as simple as day, it's people power. It's us taking ownership of the spaces we pay for. It's us taking ownership on the things that we want to see in our lives. Because you know that property that you bought ain't really yours, right? You know they'll come take it when they're ready. We've seen it happen over and 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 over again. And enough is enough. I am grateful for this rainbow coalition. I definitely am. Too often we get in spaces, we worried about race, we worried about age, we worried about all the wrong damn things. That ain't what I experience when I'm in a DSA space and I love and appreciate that. <clears throat> so I'll end by saying to my socialist brothers and sisters, keep kicking ass.